always working, but when I do have a lot of issues with it, it shuts down and I have to completely turn everything off, let it drain again, wait like 10 to 15 minutes, start it back up so it fills up, and then it'll come back on again. But sometimes it doesn't even do that. It's just off and on all the time with this machine. By getting this equipment grant, it would really help us also expand our summer heating program as well as our after school snack program. We just started the after school snack program this year in our middle school and our high school. And we try to include some fresh fruits and vegetables, it's not always prepackaged items. So having the sealer would really help us and our staff to package those. And it would also be a lot easier for us to transport, making sure there's no cross contamination with anything in our delivery. In many of our satellite summer feeding locations, we provide um, refrigeration, so we'll transport um, some of our milk boxes or we use some of our coolers in order um, to help keep the temperatures correct and help some of our locations serve um, more meals. So for instance, um, our library locations, um, our daycare, we deliver refrigerators to them. So last year we bought two small refrigerators. Um, but having a larger cooler would definitely help us um, in helping to expand our location. So maybe in the apartment complex that we're looking to serve at this year, um, we could use that cooler there in the summer, but we can also use the cooler in our schools during the school year, um, facilitate that with our after school snack program. All right, this is how we load up for our travel to Buckmont Academy today. We don't have any milk because um, they have some left over, but Gary takes a cold and then he'll go back and get our hot stuff. All right, so we unload here and then we take it up 